Okay, on part four of the study guide. It says, what is the y-intercept and slope of this equation? This equation is written in standard form. It has to be written in slope-intercept form. So you have to take 2x minus 4y equals 16, and you have to put it in slope-intercept form. Right now it's in standard form. So you want to get y by itself, so you're going to subtract the x on both sides. Then you're going to divide by negative 4. So we're left with y equals, and then you divide these, so negative 2 divided by negative 4 is going to give you a positive, because you have two negatives, it's going to give you a positive one half x and then 16 divided by negative 4 is going to give you a negative 4. So it says what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is negative 4 and the slope is one half all right, number 20 says, what is the rate of change for the function represented by the table? So to figure out the rate of change, rate is the same thing as slope. And when you're giving a table, you're going to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you pick two points, which I'm going to pick 0, 2, and 1, negative 3. You plug that in, you do negative 3 minus 2 and 1 minus 0. When you already have something that's negative and then you subtract from it, it's just going to get more negative, so that's going to give you negative 5, and then 1 minus 0 is going to give you 1. So the rate would be negative 5 for the slope. Slope is the same thing as right. Number 21 says, which table represents a function? If you can't tell, these are x, y, x, y tables. So you want to find one that represents a function. You're looking at the table. You look at the x's in each table to see if they repeat. The x's in the first table repeat, and they repeat with different y's. You can see the first table, the x has negative 2, 2, and then negative 2, 0. This is not going to be a function because the x repeats, and it has different y values. But if you look at the second table, this is a function. because none of your x values repeat with different y's. It's okay if your y's values repeat. It's not okay if your x values repeat. So the second one is a function. Now if you look at number 22, it says which formula below describes a linear function? A is not linear because it has an exponent. B is not linear because it has an exponent, and D is not linear because it has an exponent. The only one that is linear is answer C because it does not have an exponent. As you can see, it says P equals 4S, which is in the same form as Y equals MX plus B. This is linear, so this is linear. All right, number 23 says, Aisha and Gabriel both sew to earn extra money. Each charge an hourly rate for the job. The equation Y equals 1750X shows the total charge that Aisha does for a sewing job. So her total charge is 
50. We are comparing the same information for Gabriel. But to figure out G Gabriel's rate, we have to take the table and figure out the slope or the rate. So I'm going to pick two points on the table and use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I would take 68 minus 34 and 4 minus 2 to figure out what my slope is. So do 68 minus 34 and then 4 minus 2 is 2. So you get 34, oops, I put 3. So 34 over 2 and that gives you 17. So now we're comparing these two rates. Gabriel's rate is 17 and Aisha's rate is 17.50. So it says which statement is true? Gabriel's hourly rate is 50 cents cheaper, which that is true. He is at 17 and she is at 17.50, so he is 50 cents cheaper than she is. All right, with number two. Okay, if we're given the equation y equals negative 3 halves x plus 9, and it says what is the missing output value in the table below? Missing output value would mean we don't know what the y is when we plug in the input, which would be 6. So we plug in 6 for x to figure out what y is or what the output is. So then we would do negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18, and then 2 times 1, which is 2, and then we have our plus 9. 18, negative 18 divided by 2 gives us negative 9 negative 9 plus 9 gives us 0. So our missing output value for this, which this is a question mark, y equals 0 when you plug in 6. And then for number 25 it says, in order to graph an equation, the equation must be in what form? Mason? Slope-intercept form slope-intercept form.